Hello everyone, my name is Aaron, but you can also call me Enigma, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, I do apologize for the lack of videos over the course of the last week or so. Um, I needed to take a break, but it was an unplanned break. Um, I've wanted to make this video for a while, and I never knew how to quite put things or how to quite say things. Um, I wasn't even sure if I truly wanted to make this video. I know that uh, deep down I wanted to make it, but I was never sure how to quite phrase it or how to quite bring it up because it is a very sensitive subject. So um, there is a lot to cover in this update video, so bear with me, please. Um, I promise I will try to cover everything as best as I can, and I promise to try to make things not so vague, but I'm going to keep things vague uh, out of respect to my personal life. So, um, with all that being said, here we go. Now, uh, there's the channel won't end. That's not what this announcement is. That's not what this update video is about. Um, I will never end the channel um, in, in terms of like closing it down. You know, the videos will always be up there. I'll always want to upload something. I'll always try to upload something as frequently as I can. But um, what I'm about to tell all of you is something that hasn't come up out of the blue. This is something that I've been dealing with for the last two and a half years out of my life. And um, it's been quite the, um, quite the struggle. It's, it's been a lot at times, it's been easy to handle at times, but um, I'll try to provide you with as good of a picture as possible. Uh, two and a half years ago, this is in um, around September or October of 2013, um, I ended up uh, getting a scare one afternoon. Um, when I was younger, I had had surgery, and uh, it was just a minor hernia surgery, and everything was fine with that, but they said that there possibly could be complications down the line. Nothing terminal, nothing to worry about, anything like that. Just just possible complications down the line that I would have to deal with on a, you know, on a personal level. Well, the surgery was fine, and I got it done when I was 12 years old. So, you know, that was, uh, that was quite the traumatic time for me at that point in my life. You know, that was half my life ago now because I am 24. Um, I'll be 25 in June, but... Um, I, I don't know if I could have made that decision, you know, now that I'm older, uh, it kind of sounds weird, but I guess as a kid, I kind of thought I had nothing to lose. So why not go for it and try to make my adult life easier? I always knew after I had that surgery and after I figured out what condition they did fix, I always knew that there was a chance that I could have complications down the line. Um, and two and a half years ago, I thought that either one of those complications was starting or I thought something more severe could be starting. Um, so I ended up going to uh, a doctor to get an opinion and um, I wasn't happy with, with that how that doctor treated the situation because uh, I didn't feel like the doctor gave me many answers. I felt like any questions I had about you know, this potential condition, um, weren't answered, but basically, uh, the visit did quell my worst fears. Like I, I wasn't upset by, um, the potential for the worst possible case scenario, but I, I just didn't really get a lot of answers. So about a year later, I ended up going to another doctor. So now fast forward to October of 2014 and that doctor, um, answered my questions very, very, truthfully and very, very, um, to the fullest extent, I guess, if, if that's how I want to put it. And he wanted me to go for follow-up tests. He wanted me to go for ultrasounds to make sure everything was okay and, and all that. And I had, and I had gone for, um, two of them, uh, within 2014 and then 2015. And, uh, and then I had one on February 29th, uh, of 2016. So that was just, um, a few days ago. After that second ultrasound, the doctor told me that, he said, I'll see you in a year. You know, nothing's changed within four months. Everything's fine. We'll, um, we'll keep you posted. You know, if anything changes, contact us or whatever. So after having that visit, especially now it's a second opinion, it's my second scan. Um, I wasn't afraid at all anymore, actually, you know, all my worst fears had been kind of pushed to the side and, you know, I thought everything was fine. 
And uh, going into this doctor's visit on February 29th, I was like, hey, you know, I have nothing to fear. You know, nothing has changed within the last year. I still feel fine. And, um, you know, you go into a doctor's appointment like that and you're like, yeah, you know, I'm going to get the best news. I'm going to walk out of there and then I'm going to be fine. Um, that's not what happened. I, uh, I didn't get the worst news possible, but I got about as close as you could get to it. Um, man. It's definitely different talking about it on camera. Um, sorry, I just had to take a little bit of a breather. Um, basically, I went into the doctor's visit and uh, the doctor told me that there was a cyst uh, that they, you know, discovered in 2014 and it showed up on the scan in 2015 and it also showed up in the scan on 2016, just a few days ago. And uh, it hasn't grown in size or anything like that, but the fact is that it's still there. And, you know, I don't know the time frame for when they're supposed to dissolve or when they're supposed to go away or whatever. I'm not even sure if it's the same one since there was such a long time in between each scan. But um, it's not supposed to be there. And they are, uh, he said he's not concerned, which is very good. Um, but it's something not to take lightly. So, um, so what they did was he was going to order another scan in a year. So I'm going to have to go back, uh, in 2017 and, uh, get, get another scan. But I also have to go for blood work very, very soon. And the blood work is to see if there are particular hormones that are present in my bloodstream and elevated levels of those hormones could indicate, um, a tumor. Now, I don't believe I have cancer right now. Um, I probably won't have it tomorrow, maybe even a month or a year or two from now, but the potential is still there for me to have cancer. And, um, you know, to be told that, to go into a doctor's appointment and expect the best and to get, you know, you could possibly have a tumor, that it's definitely not what you want. From a doctor's visit you know i've told those close to me you know there are people who i still need to tell um as a matter of fact i'm going to tell a friend later on today um but i wanted to update all of you on this because most of you who watch my videos i don't know who you are you're just people um that i've met through making these videos and across the internet um some of you I do know in my personal life. Some of you already know. Some of you will now know because of this video. Um, but I wanted to say something because, yes, it is a personal aspect of my life. But I want this to potentially be a dream that comes true. You know, I want to be able to make videos for a living. And that's something that, that intrigues me. And there haven't been videos lately. Not because I haven't wanted to make them, or not because I have no footage to edit, or I have no time to record. But because you kind of get knocked on your ass from hearing something like that, that you may have cancer. So I apologize if, uh, if the videos haven't been coming out lately. Um, it's not something that I want to make a normal routine out of. But it is the truth, and this is the reality of the situation. You know, we all have uh, battles that we need to fight, and we all have trials that we must go through and pass along the way. And um, this is just another one for me. You know, this isn't something new. Like I said, this hasn't cropped up within the last month or so or within the last few weeks. This is something that I've been dealing with for the last two and a half years of my life. And um, I've been dealing with it pretty well. This last week has been kind of tough. But, um, you know, I've taken the necessary time to think about things. So nothing is set in stone. You know, I don't, like I said, I don't have cancer now. I don't believe. Um, we'll find out after the blood test, but I'm pretty confident I don't because nothing has changed within the last two and a half years from that, you know, first uh, doctor's visit and then in a year and a half since my first ultrasound. So that's the good news. The worst case scenario is obviously a worst case scenario for a reason, because that could potentially be the, the thing that could go wrong. Uh, 
but I have faith that I don't have that, and I have faith that it won't go to that worst case scenario. Apart from all that, I do have some exciting news. Um, I got a new job, and I will also be starting that new job on March 14th, so it's coming up very, very shortly, and I'm very excited for that. That's a, a new opportunity, a new chapter in life, if you will, for me, and um, I'm very excited for it. So that was the other thing I wanted to bring up is I'll still be able to do the channel, but it'll probably be sporadic, you know, when I can put videos up. There won't be a set schedule. I'll probably end up recording exclusively on the weekends and editing throughout the week and getting videos up when I can. Um, I'll do my best to, to try to deal with everything and to try to come up with a somewhat normal schedule. And I'll try to finish up a lot of playthroughs that, you know, need to be finished up like Oxenfree and Firewatch and stuff like that um but i've had a lot on my mind lately and i've uh i've tried to deal with it all at my own pace you know in my own way and i'm doing that and um you know at the very least what this experience has taught me is to take more risks in life and to take chances and to pursue what i want to do and and to enjoy each and every day and i've been doing that for the last you know five or six years now um, but still, this is something that I didn't expect to have to deal with at, you know, 24, you know, most 25 year olds are kind of preparing for their future. You know, they're, they're either in a career or building up towards a career or, you know, they're in a relationship with somebody or buying a house or, you know, starting a family. And, you know, here I am, uh, possibly waiting out to see if I have cancer. And obviously, I'm not the worst case scenario. There are much younger people than me and kids who get cancer and have to deal with it. And they're strong enough to go through it. So I am strong enough to go through it too. Um, but I wanted to share that with all of you. And I hope this doesn't make anybody too sad. I hope it doesn't make anybody um, overwhelmed. I, I wanted to share this for a long time. You know, I wanted to make this video for a long time. But when last year happened and the good news hit that, you know, whoa, oh, you don't have to come back for another year for a scan. And, you know, you kind of, you kind of not let your guard down, but you, you're allowed to feel a sense of comfort knowing that you probably don't have this thing. And I still probably don't. Um, it's just, this is the potential situation that I could be facing. So I don't want any sympathy. I don't want any pity. I'm still the same guy from yesterday from a year or two ago since I started this entire channel. And um, I'll continue to be that same guy. I'll continue to be the guy who loves life and who loves what I do and, you know, who wants to make people laugh and happy and entertain people. You know, that, that side of me hasn't changed through all this. So I ask that, you know, you support me along this journey. You know, um, I ask that you enjoy the content that I make while I'm still having fun making it and while I can still make it. Um, you know, I'm still going to be here tomorrow. I'm still going to be here the next day. I'm still going to be here a year from now and two years and five years and ten years. Because even if I do have cancer, I don't I don't plan on letting it beat me. Um, it's just another obstacle. That's all it is. That about does it for this update video. I know it's going to be longer than a typical update video. Um, Pretty much besides that and the new job, I really didn't update much. Horror Corner and the live action stuff, they still will happen on a monthly basis. It's just I I got caught up with the new job stuff and with this, you know, potential diagnoses thing. You know, I, I, a lot of stuff piled on towards the end of February. So um, I'm, I'm doing my best and I'm going to make sure that stuff doesn't fall behind as best as I can. And I'm, I'm going to make sure that I keep everybody updated as best as I can. You know, obviously this is February's update video, but it's coming out in March. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to do better in that front and, um, you know, just enjoy the time that I have. If you have any questions, feel free to, you know, comment down below. Um, feel free to send me like a private message on Twitter or over YouTube or something like that. Like I said, I, I want to keep things as private as possible since it is my personal life. But I understand that a lot of you may have questions, and I will try to answer those questions as best as I can, if you have them for me. Um, you know, obviously, if you know me in, in real life, you know, next time I see you, you know, we, we can talk about it. Um, 
just, I, I didn't want this to be something that came out of the blue when it was really, really bad. You know, the situation is still okay. Um, nothing is going to change dramatically or drastically very, very soon. Like this, this is something that potentially may never hit me, but it's something that I'm facing and it's something that I want to bring to all of your attention. So I guess that about does it for this update video. So my name is Aaron, but you can also call me Enigma and I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.